Hey, this is big as we gear up for the long weekend, and I think a lot of people are sheltered in place or uh, limited now because they're rolling back a lot of the openings. So time to spend uh, your uh, your precious time in front of a TV, maybe watching some great movies. And that's why we bring in, we, uh, we try to do this every Thursday, the great Mr. Skin from MrSkin.com. Skin, how you doing? Doing great. How are you guys doing? Looking forward to a a 4th of July weekend where we can't go out and watch fireworks. We can't go to a game. We can't. (laughs) (laughs) Exactly. I hope there's something good on TV this 4th of July. (laughs) Well, the only thing is we can count on nudity, right? Yeah, and I'll tell you what. If you come to MrSkin.com this weekend, um, we're going to have a lot of special uh, uh, um, 4th of July uh, playlists and the top ten lists and all that, but one I thought would be really fun, just real quick, is uh, you can check it out. It's we we put this up as a as an early teaser, but we'll have a lot more coming in the next couple of days. But it's our uh, top five celebrities wearing American flag bikinis, and we have big <laughs> names. Oh my God, uh, okay, Jimmy Press, yeah, 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 we have big names. Okay, now who uh, who are who are these celebrities wearing American flag bikinis? Well, for instance, Cameron Diaz in The Sweetest Thing from 2002 Ooh. is in the playlist. Uh, okay. She was wearing a, a uh, it, literally, it's an, like an American flag uh, bikini. Also, uh, Jamie Presley's in there. Uh, Erica Durant um, from Smallville. Holly Madison wore one, too. So uh, you could come to the front page of our site and see this. And, and it's cool because they're literally all in American flag bikinis. We literally searched every movie in our database and found five famous people wearing uh, this for the 4th of July. We like to call this Yankee Doodle Handy. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, that's for free on the webpage for everyone oh, yeah, as well yeah, yeah, on the yeah. front you page. Can, you can go check that out for free. Yeah, Absolutely. And, uh, but yeah, like I said, we'll have a lot more. But I also wanted to give you guys because I know you're a you're a big fan <clears throat> of our breaking nudes department. Oh uh, yeah, breaking nudes for us. Let's get a fanfare. Here we go. Fanfare, breaking nudes time with the great Mister Skin. Well, uh, I should say that there's a um, there's a movie we've been tracking for three years, and I've actually mentioned this to you guys before. But it's looking like it's finally going to happen. So way back in 2017, a movie was filmed called Lost Girls in Love Hotels. And um, we knew about this three years ago. Um, It's a movie adaptation of Catherine Hanrahan's novel of the same name. And Alexandra Daddario, who's a a Mr. Skin favorite from... You know, you guys might know her from Baywatch, but she was also the girl that did the amazing nude scene in the first season of True Detective. Yeah. And she, she plays um, a, a woman living in uh, Tokyo, and she's an English teacher by day. Yeah. And then she spends her nights drinking in dive bars and hooking up with Japanese men in love hotels. So you got me at uh, uh, teacher by yeah. day and drinking at dive bars. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So anyway, um, we finally have confirmation that she has a bunch of great nude scenes and sex scenes. And uh, it's just, i got to tell you, since True Detective, she's been the number one, uh, or probably the number one most searched actress at our site. Guys love her, and for obvious reasons, if you saw her in a bikini and in Baywatch or just in true, the great nude scene in True Detective. But um, we're hearing now that this movie's finally going to get a VOD release this year. I will keep you posted, but this is huge news in the world of celebrity nudity. Lost Girls in Love Hotels, Alexandra Daddario, several sex scenes, uh, lots of breasts and butts, so we'll keep you posted. And she's like an English teacher or... or... She's an American English teacher in Japan by day. And she's going through some issues, so she spends her nights drinking in dive bars and hooking up with men in love hotels. English teacher loves her Longfellow. (laughs) (laughs) That's what Henry Wadsworth said. (laughs) Exactly, Henry Wadsworth. Hey, I got a million of them, believe me. (laughs) You you and me can't go real far with those jokes because we don't know a lot of famous uh, writers. Exactly, that's That's about it. The only reason I know Longfellow is because Rodney Dangerfield used it in a joke. (laughs) It wasn't from anything you read. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> all right, Skin, have a happy fourth, okay? Yeah, same to all of you guys. Have a great weekend. All right, take care. Bye-bye. Okay, bye. The great Mr. Skin from MrSkin.com.